to Crafters TV. Oh, thanks so much for joining us. It's really lovely to be with you today. My name is Becky and it is my third ever Play Your Crafts Right. I have won zero <laughs> so far. Team Facebook, I feel like third time's a charm. We've got this today. If you do not know what Play Your Craft Right is, it is a fabulous game that you can get involved with. And if you do get involved and you get social, five people have the chance of winning a tenner. Oh yeah, all you have to do is get social. Uh, so yes, that is coming up for you in a little bit. I will be Team Facebook and the wonderful team YouTube will be the fish. How many YouTube, times have you won? YouTube, twice. Out of how many? Three. Oh, I'm literally the opposite. This would oh. be my third and I've lost the two previous. Oh, we're opposite. So, oh. so, so it could be me winning this time. <laughs> yeah. um, we have got so much coming up for you today, including creativity, including craft. I've also got a totally Tiffany spend more, save more. So that I'll tell you more about in a little bit. And we have got the fabulous Positivity Collection. This is the one that you want if you yourself are an animal lover or you know anyone who is. We are going to go through it shortly, but before that, let's get inspired by it. These really are making you smile, aren't they? They really are. And do you know what? Let's just give you a bit of inspiration before we start the show because the Bloom with Grace is incredibly pretty. It's bold. It's beautiful. It's stunning. Aww. It's really what you want to be able able to make to to send to all your girlfriends to send to your mom to send to your auntie your cousins your nieces honestly anyone is gonna absolutely love that and you never know there could be a male that loves a butterfly uh, and this collection is just for you it's full of flowers full of those really bold tones those pinks those greens those creams which is amazing but hold steady if you are a lover of hold cats, steady if you are a lover oh. of dogs this <laughs> is the collection for you look this at look at this card is my favorite you are the cat's pajamas <laughs> i mean that I is it. just brilliant and i know every cat lover out there wants to send that card to their partner because yeah. it is incredible yeah uh, they are some really fun designs in here oh. the papers are absolutely gorgeous this oh. one is team with both can you see the That's blooms fabulous. and grace at the bottom uh, and team with that gorgeous cat design on top we've got coloring mediums for you we've got topper pads oh. we've got pretty papers <gasps> honestly oh, this is wow. just the most incredible set so yes if you are a cat a dog lover you are going to love this positivity collection it's so cute isn't it so i've got both of those coming up for you let's talk positivity first you're getting loads in here let me go through everything you're getting your hands on you are going to be treating yourself today to the clear acrylic stamp set you're going to be getting the forever friends you're getting the custom embossing folder you're getting uh, 12 inch paper pads they're 12 by 12 pattern paper you're getting your six inch die cut decoupage toppers with uh, for the love of cats you're getting the six inch die decoupage for the love of dogs you get in um, the die cut 12 inch toppers and the card pack all that you are seeing on your screen you are going to be getting and they are all going to raise a massive smile now if you do want to seize the moment and grab all these in together you can see your prices on screen if you're brand new you get 20% off your first order, I kid you not. And uh, also, if you're platinum, you won't be spending that. You'll be spending just £52 on the notes. Or you'll be paying $60.80. So this really is a great time. Because not only are you making a saving, but you've got some wonderful crafts to raise a smile. Before we dive on in to our wonderful Play Your Crafts Right, let's get to a demo. Which one are we going to be starting with? So the positivity has got mm. to be... So I'm a bit of both. 
I love cats, I love dogs. Uh, we've had both in the past, so I think this is suitable for most people because most of us do have an animal, either a dog, a cat, or both. So I'm going to be using, I love this, we've got a cut and emboss folder, which is stunning. Uh, it actually gives you the paw prints on it, which is amazing. So you've got the paw prints, but you've also got that added bonus of a cut, a die cut in the centre, oh, it's still got my piece in there, in the mm. centre of your folder. So it's going to die cut and give you all those beautiful pores around it. I adore this one. What I really adore as well is this pad. Now I'm going to bring this pad in. Look how much inspiration die cut toppers that are all pre-done for you, pre-die cut out. So you've just got to pop them out the pad. Uh, there is so many in here. I love this one. You can create your own yearly planner. Aww. So your dog could have or your cat could have its own yearly planner <laughs> of when you need to order its food, of when its next jabs are, uh, of when you're on holiday and it's got to be booked into the kennels. So I whisper <laughs> that we don't want the dogs to hear because I know you know sometimes they can uh, they can get up in uproar. Um, and then you've got your alphabet here. So whatever oh. your puppy's name is, whatever your cat's name is, we can put them. There's frames. These are fabulous. We're going to be doing one of these in the demos as well. Uh, you can see I've been using bits out of my book. All little toppers. There's sentiments, ribbons, borders in there. Mm. Uh, it honestly goes on. You've got all these buttons for embellishment. That is a beautiful pad. But on top of that, you've also then got beautiful pad with these amazing papers. I love the colours of these because they're very muted. Mm. Uh, I'm going to bring in sort of two colours I'm going to be working with and we're going to be beautiful. doing a poppy one. We're also going to be using our folder. So I'm going to be using this and I want to go directly on. Now, I want to, you won't even notice the difference too much, but what I am going to use is my Twilight Grey mm. in my Water Reactive Inks and I'm going to apply it directly to to here okay. because what I actually want is I want to mute that blue even more but I also want to be able to see the pore prints in there okay. so this is a really good way to do it and I'm not being fussy where I've put that I'm literally just using that directly on the next thing you need to make sure I've made myself a card blank I've done this five by seven inches which is the size of the embossing folder always have your die cut cutting into your cardstock so what I'm going to do is pop that round there like so to make sure that's completely in my card before I then pop that down so you can see all of that in there and then I'm going to open that up and we're going to just send that through our Gemini. So with a 2D embossing folder it's a very very simple um, step you just need your top and your bottom cutting mat. But what I am going to do, because we've got the extra um, die cut in there, I do want to use my metal shim just as an extra shim uh, to go through. And it doesn't actually even need it. I just like to always add that to make sure we're getting that really good cut. And it also means that we'll get an amazing embossed detail uh, with those puppy paws or cat paws into our cardstock. That's lovely. That's good. So sending that through takes no time at all because we're using the Gemini. And then we can see just how detailed this embossing folder is. So if I take that off of there, we've then got our no. gorgeous, and it almost looks a little bit grubby because it's your puppy that's on there. So yeah. I wanted to just give that a different effect, really highlight all those paw prints that look fabulous. Uh, and then we've got our card on the inside, which is going to pop into there. So we're just going to put a piece of uh, tape across there. Uh, we've reached our metal piece, so let's pop that one in the bin. And then just use our glue just to go round and stick that on the inside. What I love about cutting in boss folders, um, Belle, is the, um, I called you Belle then on there, <laughs> <laughs> uh, because um, what I love about them is the fact that you can decorate your inside as well as your outside and it gives that yeah. really gorgeous detail. Yeah, that's a good point. Now, what we've also got is these amazing uh, puppy pads. Now, you're getting so loads cute. in here, lots of, I mean, they're all the same, but you're just getting a ton of these. So what these are great for is creating your decoupage. Oh, so... Let me just pull that one out. So you don't just have to use one. So one will give you, and it tells you it's one, two, and three, and these just pop out. So really, really easy. 
So you pop them all out and then you will start to layer them on top of each other. And the more you put on, the more you'll get that raised detail. What you could also do is uh, use uh, either thicker foam pads so you yeah. can raise it even more. You can also, if you sort of curve them, you can create a little bit of um, sort of dimension in them as well. Uh, and you can then use, so what I am going to show you with this one is we're going to bring in our um, 3D glue gel. And all I'm going to do is put in a piece on here and we're going to lay that directly over our image. And I'm not worrying about where it is. I like using this because it gives you extra dimension and curvature. Mm. But what it also does is uh, it allows you to to suggest the height. Yes. So you don't have to have it too high if you want it a bit more flat, but you can see by putting that together, we've got that really sort of dimensional and you don't then see anything underneath. No. Now you could then cut out, because you've got so many in this pad, mm -hmm. you could just cut out his ears and have some extra elements of his ears coming out there. That's so lots idea. of different ways, or even just his head, have the head coming out. Aww. Depending on how you want to do it, you literally have so many pages in there to be able to do that with. Brilliant. So we've got our inside element there. Then what I've done is I've took some strips out. So just some strips from our book. Um, I'm also going to turn my card so it's this way round. Um, and then we're going to, and what I've also done is I've got some extra pieces here. So I've got my dogs because I want to put them on the inside as well. So we have cut some more out. Great. Now, just because we've put this onto 3D glue gel, I've actually got some as well to show you the difference with just using foam pads onto okay. there. So I'm just going to take these off. And it just adds that little bit of difference um, of how you uh, put them together. So just taking off. How long does the 3D glue take to dry? Uh, it's touch dry in an hour. That's good. And, and I would say to leave it overnight um, 12 hours for it to be dry uh, oh, yeah. thoroughly. So if you wanted a really quick it's June down the road's birthday tomorrow and I've forgotten. Yep, don't Quick use. Quick card, don't yep. use it. <laughs> don't Get use your it. phone pass. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Always forgetting June's birthday. You know what she's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there you go. So you can see this one, we've not got that shape in onto it, where I quite like the shape that comes round onto here. But you do have that element of just being able to stack them up and having them a little bit thicker. So I'm going to use this one because what I have done is I've put my pads only where they're needed. So just taking these uh, strips off. I don't even need to really take them all off. It's just to add that dimension. And then we're going to pop these on the end here of our card. So you can see already Aww. we're creating that beautiful card. <laughs> uh, and then I've also popped out some hearts. So we've got some little heart pop outs that we've got there. And I've then got my banner that was in the book. And this is all in the paper pad. Uh, it's a dog's life. Aww. So And then we've got our extra a little piece for the inside as well so I actually think we could possibly pop these inside so maybe we can have a lot of dogs there yeah. and pop our sentiment just going in the inside Aww. yeah so That's like nice. that so let's do that so we'll stick those down just going to use my tape pen for quickness and then pop that on the inside and it's nice to be able to decorate the, um, the inside as well as it is the outside. Popping that onto the inside there, just into there. And then he'll be poking his head through there. Aww. And then we've just got our little hearts that we can then put on the front. Oh, we're running low on our, um, on our uh, glue gel. Squeezing every last bit out of there, just putting those couple of hearts on the side, and there we go. So, oh, if I turn I that round, it. you've got that really cute, really quick card, uh, and it just really is great for a dog lover. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much for showing us that. How lovely is that card? I love it. If you would like to recreate that card and so many others, let me run through what you're getting in this collection. So, I'm going to be bringing 
listening to you, you're in Boss and Die. This is what the wonderful Debbie was using on that design there. So can you see the little paws? Yeah, look at those. You've got the paws in there, and then you've also got the die in the center of that folder. Then I'm bringing you all of your sentiments, and you have got loads in here, including you're the cat's pajamas. Isn't that Actually, where did that saying come from? Because cats don't wear pajamas. So, what is that meant to be saying? You are a non-existent thing. Do you know what I mean? It's you like the cats. pup's pedalo. Do you know what I mean? Puppies don't have pedalos. Mm, it is a weird saying. It is isn't a weird it? one, isn't it? We, we need Google, George. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where that's come from. Yeah, I know it means like someone who's oh, you're the yeah, best, you're the bees, where does it come etc. From? But yeah. what does it mean? Mm. Yeah. Yes, because cats don't wear pyjamas. You're very, very right. I'm astute. Anyway, you're getting loads of sentiments there, as you can see. Then we've got the dogs. You've got the same situation, the six-inch die-cut decoupage topper with the cats as well, for all of you cat lovers out there. I have a dog and a cat, so this collection is perfect for me. Um, we've then got for you your stamp and die perfect collection in here you're going to be getting four dies and seven stamps so they're going to work perfectly you're getting added sentiments there that could be good for a background and then i'm bringing to you the dog version this one's got three dies and the six stamps and again you've got lovely sleeping pooches there amongst other things i love the little paw prints too so we have got absolutely loads in this as you can see the fact that you are going to be able to use this for anybody who is a well-known cat lover or dog lover or maybe isn't but they're planning on getting a dog or a cat it's a huge percentage of the population that has a dog or a cat so this is going to be a serious amount of your friends and family members if you do want to seize the moment it's 65 pounds or 76 dollars unless you are platinum which is where you're getting it for even less you are going to be paying just 52 pounds if you are um, in the uk or 60 dollars 80 so it's up to you what which ones you're going to grab your hands on. Whew. It's time. It's Saturday. That means we want to win you some goodies. Oh yeah. What we are going to do now is play a game that you can get involved with. And if you do get involved, whether you're watching on Facebook or you're watching on YouTube, you could have the chance of winning £10 or $10 store credit here at Crafters TV. All you have to do is play along, get social, because this is Play Your Crafts Right. <laughs> As you can see, it's Crafters Chronicles. I'm here. I've got my board. I'm ready. How are you feeling the fish? Uh, not good. I am rubbish with memory. <laughs> right. OK. <laughs> I have a feeling that this is one that is going to really be this. <sighs> Yes. You know, lots of red herrings and stuff like that, mm. I'm feeling. So, neither of us has played this one before, have no, we? No, not at all. So, it's literally all to play for. So, we're against each other. What we're going to be doing is watching a video. In this video, there'll be a lovely story of which we have to remember as much information as we can. Then, after we see the video, we will be asked a series of questions about the story that we have to remember. And what I would love you to do is get involved as well. So when those questions come up, make sure that you are typing them in on our social medias and that way you could be in with the chance of winning that, uh, that tenor. So, should we get started? Yes. Let's do it. Once upon, Once a, time, upon a time, over the over King, the King Gold, Gold Bridge, Bridge and through the, through the magical, magical spring, spring fever, fever forest, 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 lived a princess, lived a princess named Becky. Becky. She had 12, she had 12 Lee Holland, Holland animal, animal friends, friends, a badger, a, badger, a hedgehog that looked like a potato, potato, a rabbit, a rabbit and a raccoon, and a raccoon to name a few. few. Becky was Becky also a fan, a fan of porridge, but only, only when jam, jam made it, because Leanne's was always too hot, and Craig's just a little bit too sweet. Becky also enjoyed skipping down the dreamy path, waving to no and penguins, and penguins as she went as she to went grandma's, to grandma's house. house. Oh, I can't believe how accurate that story was. <laughs> <laughs> See, oh, I 
I told you, you're a Disney princess. Oh, skipping along. Okay, so that was that wonderful story. Um, how do the questions get asked? Do you do it over microphone? It comes no. up on the screen. Does it? Right. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. For your first question. Don't forget, if you know the answer, get it in on socials, okay? Okay, first question is... Over what bridge did Becky live? <laughs> I haven't got a clue. That is the face of someone who hasn't got an idea. Um, um, oh, my pen's running out a bit. Have you got any ideas? No, I'm just making it up. <laughs> right. Is it a word that you've heard? No. Right. <laughs> Mine is, oh, I've probably got about one in 30 chance, I'd say. Well, it's about one in a million. I'd is it? Right, right okay. <laughs> this is a word that I definitely heard, but I just don't know if it was to do with bridge. the bridge. I can't remember a bridge being mentioned, can you? Yes, at the beginning, they went oh. over something, but I, yeah, I didn't. Oh, no, right, I'm wondering the... if I'm going to change it. No, because we've given you clues then. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> all right, okay, all right. No, no, I'm sticking with it, I'm sticking with it, even though now I'm 100% sure it's wrong, because <laughs> this was mentioned at the end of the story. <laughs> Okay, let's have a little look. Have people been, hang on, let's have a look. Who's been messaging in? Um, oh, yeah, I need to find out the answer first, don't I? We've got Hello Mary says, go team Facebook. Yeah. Oh, winner Beth's in with, I know this is nothing to do with this, but just whilst we're, we're here. The term cat also was coming into use by the flapper set as a slang word for person a cool person, thus, you're the cat's pyjamas because of the way that you say someone is cool, great or special. Cool as cats. Exactly, <laughs> exactly that. Oh, Stacey is saying King Gold Bridge. I, did, I don't remember hearing that. No, I don't remember <laughs> hearing that either. Could be right. Are we ready to reveal the answer? Let's do it. The answer is... King Gold. <laughs> I put rainbow stream. <laughs> rainbow stream. Okay, rainbow stream at bridge. I've I thought gone I for heard rainbow. Dreamies. I oh. put dreamies. It was not right. That's a zero zero. Before we carry on, we have had some audio issues. So we're going to play it again. Oh, yes. So that you can get involved at home. Okay, so. Here it is again. Sorry for those audio issues. We think we've fixed it now. Have a little look at this. Once upon a time, over the King Gold Bridge and through the magical spring fever forest, lived a princess named Becky. She had 12 Lee Holland animal friends, a badger, a hedgehog that looked like a potato, a rabbit, and a raccoon, to name a few. Becky was also a fan of porridge, but only when jam made it because Leanne's it was always too hot and Craig's just a little bit too sweet. Becky also enjoyed skipping down the dreamy's path, waving to gnomes and penguins as she went to grandmother's house. Oh my God, I, I couldn't never remember the beginning. Oh, I'm so glad because that's exactly what happened to me. <laughs> he said King's Gold and I was like, oh, that's where it was. Oh yeah, I must have missed yeah, that. And then it's halfway well, through. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that was question one. Hopefully you've been able to hear it and you can all get involved with the next question. So let's go to question number two, please. What magical <laughs> forest was over the bridge? That was the one I had in my head at the beginning and then I lost it. <laughs> I know the first letter. Oh, see, I know the second word. <laughs> oh, man! Right, well, you're, you're, you're winning on this so far. Okay. Um, uh, right, was okay. it that? Actually, guess. Don't forget, get these in on socials because you could have the chance of winning. This pen is well on its last legs. Uh, oh no, I can't believe this. It was something. I'm going to put. Magical that. Forest was. What Magical Forest was over the bridge? Right, okay. 
this pen is on its last legs. Okay. Yes. Well, Shall yeah, we show you ours? can't really see mine. Oh, rainbow. I had that in my head, a rainbow. Right, so we've got people guessing dreamies. We've got people guessing rainbow. Spring fever. Spring fever's one. Uh, we've got Elizabeth guessing rainbow forest as well. What magical forest? What it's divided. You... It's 50-50. So what did you... Hang uh... on. Well, this is my problem here now. Oh, I'm not changing it. My pen doesn't even work anymore. <laughs> um, sorry, I just wanted to say. Um, Amanda is... Uh, sorry, Adriana is saying magical spring. <gasps> That's what Sherry I put. Is, oh, well, I put spring fever. I knew spring was the second answer, but I wasn't sure if it was rainbow or magical. Oh, well, I put sp Oh, okay. What is the answer? What is the answer? Spring <gasps> fever? Yes! Spring fever? I don't even remember spring a fever. fever. Where did it the rainbow come in? I don't know. I think that was me earlier. Oh, because when we... Oh, when well we, done, Becky. Oh, thank you. When you <laughs> guessed spring... I've got a point. My yay! Oh. <gasps> We've got another pen. You Sorry, absolute YouTube. angel. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, that's exciting. So okay, we've beautiful. got another one. Um, another question for us. This is number three, isn't it? <gasps> Can't believe we've got a point. What leaf? I know one? this. Um, I think I know this one. Uh, do I? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> I think. Yes. <gasps> I'm quite excited. <laughs> How sure you were on that straight away? It was the only one I could remember was the first. <laughs> right, okay, good. I'm glad it wasn't the third. Right, oh no, I wouldn't know. And like, I didn't even hear what the fourth one was. <laughs> We've got plenty of you messaging in. Don't forget that if you are on our social medias right now, it's a brilliant way to leave your comments because you could be in with a chance of winning. We've had people guessing raccoon. I don't remember the raccoon. I don't Badger. remember the raccoon. Badger. Rabbit. Oh, hedgehog's coming in strong. YouTube's in. YouTube. YouTube's in. Badger, 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 I can't oh. remember whose I didn't. Um, I'm actually just going to draw a little bowl of porridge now. Just, I'm just showing off. <laughs> yeah, Debbie, I feel like you're oh, on it. Done. Well, yeah. How sure are you on this one? I'm not really sure, but I think I know who she didn't like. Right, that's so, not the question. No, but then that made me... <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make that it clear. It made me then think who she did like best. Right, okay. Mm. Facebook, a lot of you are saying Jan. YouTube is also saying Jan quite often. What, what for your perk, Becky? It's Jan's porridge. Oh, yay! Oh, well, is it? Well, I presume that it is, because we both, both got, got it right. right. I think it is, Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. She only said three, so, and I, I remembered then who hadn't, who she didn't like. Go on then. Who was it? Leanne and? No, you can't ask to say any more. Oh, why not? Because it might be another question. Doubt it. <laughs> I don't know, though, if it comes up now. OK, here is the final question for this round. What path did oh. Becky like skipping down? Yeah, I don't know this one at all. I don't either. It's going to be a guess. 
a big guess. Is your guess that you're putting down a word that you have heard in the last three and a half minutes ish? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that might not be the answer then might it I, I have no idea what the answer is right um, okay. so I'm literally I know you've got this Becky because oh I no, no 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 I no, am... what I mean is that even if I if you get it wrong you've won because <laughs> okay. I can't catch up with you because I know it's oh, an answer. okay Sorry, YouTube. okay well you've still got time in the second round you watch you're gonna get it right oh, now yes, aren't you I we have yeah I've put my answer down so Oh, YouTube is saying cool. dreamies. Oh, Facebook that's... is coming in uh, with dreamies. Yeah, look as at that well. smile over there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I, we'll start, I start with the rainbow path. <laughs> that's lush. Yeah, because rainbow was definitely mentioned, well, I wasn't it? It was, yeah, but I really, I forgot about the dreamies path. Of course it was dreamies. I went for dreamies, which was also my answer for one. So it was the only other thing I could remember. <laughs> and I knew that that was wrong. So the winner is for the answer of this one dreamies. Yay! Yay! Oh my God. That is the first ever round I have won. Oh, of that's Craft brilliant. Right. Well <gasps> done. That's so exciting. That's so, I'm so rubbish with memory. You did. You did. Stella then. You only got two of them wrong, didn't you? So, Team Facebook. Woo! We are winning at this moment in time. But don't forget, YouTubers, it is all still to play for with the wonderful Debbie in the next round. That was the first of your Play Your Crafts Right. Hiya. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You just don't. I didn't. That was a really quick. Do -do. Sorry, I didn't expect that. I'm just trying to grab all these goodies. So we are going to stick with the wonderful brand that is Knitwear. And I'm going to be bringing to you now the Bloom with Grace. Now, this collection's a really nice size. You're going to get plenty in here to make numerous cards and, of course, more. Um, but it's a lovely size and therefore really affordable. It's going to be a half price deal. I just want to put that out there straight away because as soon as half price comes on anything especially when they are things like toppers decoupage etc it's always going to be popular so to be able to get it at half price if you do fancy it i would be popping it in your basket sooner rather than later let me tell you what you're getting we are bringing to you your six inch die cut decoupage topper pad that creates these wonderful 3d flourishes I'm bringing to you your clear acrylic stamp set. So you've got lots of wonderful sentiments in here, including you make my heart smile, which I just think is quite adorable. Not only have I got that, we're bringing to you some dies as well. So these are stamp and dies. If you've not seen these before, it's kind of uh, does what it says on the tin. You get the stamps that then mirror up to the dies. So that means that you get really professional cut finish each time. Great for colouring in. Then oof, one of our absolute favourites, 12 inch card pad. These are the colours you're getting and I'll just show you here that they are double sided so you're getting a, a, a nice amount of colour on each side of them and then you get in oh, your toppers now these toppers as you saw with the positivity they simply pop out for you really easy to do they're already cut around and you're going to get lots of different details and designs as well um, I have just been told that the six inch with the flowers this is not included i'm sorry that has been popped in here by accident go away um so yeah i do apologize for that so you do get everything else that i'm showing you um, um everything else sorry that i have shown you apart from that so just as a reminder all of these wonderful sentiments cut and stamp and your 12 inch card all of that just 29 pounds or 20 at uh, 34 dollars sorry half price deal for you right here right now and if you do fancy being inspired well i've got the perfect lady for you what are we going to be making yeah this is such a pretty collection and i if you are a colorist you're going to love this because you've got all those elements of the papers and the toppers but then you've got these amazing stamps with dies so you're getting three and really quite large 
large stamps here uh, where you can colour them in. So we're just going to take one of these to show exactly how beautiful they are. So placing that on top of my card and then we're going to pop that into place stamp that down and then we're going to use our flagstone. Now I'm using alcohol proof because we are going to be using our amazing uh, tri-blend brush pens. Now they're the newest to our collection of tri-blend uh, and they have a beautiful brush nib on them which is just gorgeous uh, and really lovely to colour in with. So if you've never coloured in with them before, I must replace my pad soon because it's getting quite um, light on colour. So I I need to uh, I've used it so much there we go so popping that out um, do your ink pads do you know what I should start doing another little oh. tip actually is yeah. turn it upside down and store it upside down because whatever ink is left in it will then be always on the Push top to of the, the surface yeah so that's our first one there. And actually, let me uh, bring in our sentiments because I'm going to sort of stamp out a sentiment that we can cut out as well. Um, so let's have a look is... Uh, Oh, it's hard to know which one to choose. They're all so beautiful, aren't you they? You make my heart smile. Yeah, um, I like send that one. in love. Your, yeah, let's do you make my heart smile. It's a nice one. Yeah, it is. So let's pop that just at the top there. And we will then just go back down, pick that one up. Oh, better take that stamp off. Don't want that re stamping the wrong way. Pick that up and again use our ink pad so just stamping down and these are great if you want to learn how to colour because they just do a really nice effect. They've got a, a nice outline, they've got a nice amount of space to be able to uh, not be too intimidating when you're yeah. colouring in. So that's our sentiment and our rose there. So let's pop those to the side. And then we're going to bring in our tri blend and give that a bit of a colour. So you can use whatever medium you want. If you're using alcohol markers, uh, I'm using our Nina cardstock. Thank goodness it's back in stock. Yay! Uh, honestly, I um, I don't know what I've done without it. It's you know we've had to sort of uh, beg, borrow, and steal, um, but we've got it now back in stock. Yeah, so we do. So with our tri blend brush. Uh, I'm going to pop these all the right way just so you can see. We have a light, a mid and a dark colour. And now these are the same shade, but it means we can go from one colour into another. So I can really get into that detailed area because I have that gorgeous um, brush nib. Then we can go in with our next colour and start giving that some extra dimension and just putting in our shading. But then what I'm going to do is go back to our lightest colour and just blend those edges in. I'm not going over that colour, I'm just touching the edges just to blend that in. And then I'm going to go to my darkest colour and just put a small amount round the rims. And it almost starts to bleed into these other colours because that blending is going, going around. And then you're going to go back into your mid colour and just using that to go round it's amazing how realistic it makes it look, isn't it? Absolutely, because flowers are not one dimension. No. Uh, there's so many different tones in them, so many different ways that the shading is on them. Yeah. They always get that light sort of shading over the edge, mm. but it makes such a difference when you've got all that ease to, uh, made for you. You know, yeah. all that difficulty has been took out of this for you. You just need to put down your lightest colour and then just shade in. And I'm not doing anything that's too too difficult and I think that's what you have to sort of think with uh, it can be it can be quite daunting alcohol coloring mm. uh, purely for that fact we think it's quite difficult to do uh, and if it's something that you want to try that you've not done before I would just highly recommend getting these pens yeah. because they really will help you learn the coloring system and what blends into each other yeah but also they're just so easy to use because they've got that brush. If you are also someone that um, 
that likes to do colour and you're an advanced crafter, these are great to uh, have just for the brush marker, for the brush nib yeah. on top. Yeah, definitely. So especially for hair, for skin, for animal fur, they are just amazing. They're fab for that. Yeah, they're really amazing. You mentioned earlier on the Nina card, mm -hmm. What? because um, we have got Nina card with the Get It Got It Good. Yep. Um, it's Nina card with that and uh, watercolour card. What is it? Why would you use Nina Card, or what, what is it that you adore about so it? So Nina Card has been specifically, uh, specifically made for alcohol pens, um, where we do a, um, a smooth white card, and it's all to do, Becky, with the tooth of the card. Yes. Um, so, and I know you know all this. So Becky's asking me, obviously, because she is a crafter, but she asked, so you all know those questions. Um, but it is a case of um, uh, it, it, it because it's specifically made for that. Yeah. Uh, and the tooth of the card, it means. Uh, and actually, Leanne does a brilliant demo where she does just a dot of alcohol and she holds it for ten seconds. Right. And she does it on watercolor card. She does it on uh, our smooth stamping card, and she does it on the Nina. Right. And the the most amount of pen is sucked into the watercolor card. Yeah. Then the uh, the uh, smooth card, and then this one is just a dot because it. It doesn't absorb it all because the tooth holds it. Yeah, uh, and that's why it's such a good card to colour oh, on. I've not to. seen that demo. That's really clever. It's a really I'll clever demo. Yeah, yeah, and it really shows you how good it is and why Nina card is so good. But actually, you know, saying all that, uh, you're colouring onto um, uh, the. My words are going today, Becky. Colouring onto your stamping card, white yes. stamping card, yeah. uh, you get a, a really good result on there. Definitely. So I'm just going in with my uh, mid marker again because I'm not liking some of my blends. So I'm just blending that back in. Never be frightened to go back in and create uh, with that because you can go back into them and you can see already how that is really starting to lift it and then what I'm going to do because we've got our buds here these would be darker so I'm not using the light I'm going to go straight in with the medium and then we're just going to add a bit here on the base of the dark and underneath where we think that will be and in that tip we're going to get some darkness and it just shows you that you can get that transi transition of colour mm. say that when you've had a few <laughs> <laughs> um, but looks amazing so many people talking about these Rosalind saying these flowers are really nice size and that's a really good point actually isn't yeah. it it's yeah. a really good size um Aisha is saying I really love this collection the paper is wonderful anxiously awaiting the next nitwit releases oh yeah I've not even thought about that I haven't heard of one I was just yet. gonna say if anyone heard anything mm, my producer be, um, um Lovely Georgina, George, GGs or BGs as we've now called ourselves, BGs. is going to have a little look on the system. And if I can give you any ideas of dates, then I will. That would be nice. Would be. Yeah, it's so good, isn't it? The Nitwits collection. I think all collections are good for that respect, that they all just match. You've Agreed. got everything at hand. You haven't got to worry about uh, what you've got coming, what you need to use it with. But it also means that you can use it with so many other things that you've got in your collection as well. Agreed. It's like buying the perfect pair of jeans, isn't it? You know, when you get mm -hmm. a collection, yep. you know it's going to go really well with everything because they're jeans, um, but it can kind of depend on what else you throw in with it. A cardigan, a top, you know, a big statement necklace, it can really alter it as well, can't it? Do you know what, Becky? That is so me. Um, I found a pair of jeans that I love and I've now got four pairs of exactly the same <laughs> I love that. Yeah, perfect. And I know people are like that with our collections, with our paper pads. Yeah, and that is so me. I just think, well, they fit well. What's the point of just having one pair if I'm going to wear them every day? Yes, I love that. <laughs> Have you ever done that with tops? Like bought a top that you no, like the style I of haven't. and then bought it in like four different colours? Oh, do you know what? I really wish I'd done something really silly the other day. Oh, go on. I bought a lovely top, well, a few weeks ago. I bought a really lovely top and I, lo I just loved the fit. I loved how it hung. And I went and ironed it the other day and the iron was too hot and I literally <gasps> burnt a massive hole for it. Oh. And they've got no more. 
more in the oh, shop. No! Yeah, so I couldn't believe I did it. Oh, yeah. you'll have to keep your peepers peeled for oh, more. Oh, I was so angry. So, that, yes, I wish that I'd done that. I think I wish I'd, I'd actually done that. So Bought I didn't more. actually intend to colour it all in, but actually I thought it was really mm -hmm. nice uh, to get it coloured in, show how it looks, and it is a stunning... And that's just one of the smaller ones. So what I am going to do is we are going to bring in this die here, and what this will do is cut out completely. Now, what I love about this is you can see the lines. Yes. It's not one of those solid dies where you're sort of almost guessing a little bit. You can actually just put that around all the edges, just moving it slightly along so you can see exactly where that goes. So you can see your full image, no whiteness around there. Then we can take our plates and run that through. So popping that into our um, small folder. So I put it through my Gemini Junior. So that's all you need for these dies is your Gemini Junior or an A5 cutting uh, machine. And then we're using it in the big Gemini because it's the one we've got set up. So taking this one off, that gives us our beautiful flower. Now, oh, what I am going to do, have we got time to, to do a, um, uh, an embossing one? George, tell me if we've got time to do the embossing. Yeah, that's fine. So always have to check. Don't want to go over my time. But actually, what I thought would be really nice was to show this flower on uh, one of the embossing folders coming up in our winner's circle. Uh, so mm -hmm. this is one of our cut and emboss folders, which I absolutely love. I'm also using some adorable scorable because this is amazing in embossing folders. And I've just cut it to size and cut it as a five by seven card blank. And then we're going to pop this through. Now, what I am going to do, well, I was hoping hoping to do let me just see if I've got the right ink with me uh, it's a little oh, there we go that's exactly what I want so I do want to use that's not the one I wanted I wanted the mid brown one so we want our fryer brown uh, and again I'm going to put this onto our folder but I'm going to try and just I'm not going to do too much I want to do it very lightly and all I want to do is grab just those bricks just at the top so can you see as we're putting that on you can see all that's doing is highlighting our bricks so I've been very light there mm -hmm. and then when we put this into our card so let's place this into the top and like I say if you want to shop ahead for these these are on the show these are amazing folders they're great if um, if you uh, have a know someone that's moving home uh, and you can uh, use this window one really nice one to use great and then I'm just going to grab my metal shim. So we're putting that between our cutting platform, our metal shim, then our folder on top, and then our top plate. And then we're going to run that through the Gemini. So nice and easy. The only reason I'm adding that metal shim is because it just helps with the cut uh, for the embossing folder because we've got that beautiful cut-in window. And what's nice about the window, it actually opens as well. So bringing this one into play, there we go. If I take that off, you can see we've got our then beautiful window cut out. We've then got that gorgeous brickwork. What I'm also going to do is just go in and uh, make sure that this is all dry because it's although it's a wetting, I've gone onto a shiny surface. But actually, I'm just taking the excess off. And it just gives that amazing it's effect, real, which is that great. There That's we go. That's so cool. Yeah, it looks really good, doesn't looks it? And fab. Then all I'm going to do is bring my scoring board in because I want to reinforce. Although the lines are there, I want to reinforce them a bit better. So I'm going to do these lines onto here, which will just oh, allow me to open those windows. And then it's just a case of we can open these windows up. Oh, hey, that's clever. Yeah, so put in those scores. So we've got those complete window opening. We've got our card blank already, so that's ready pre-done. Uh, and then all I've done is I've just got some paper here. So some vellum out of one of Sarah's collections here. That was the Caring Thoughts paper pad. I'm just going to put that vellum. You never know which side vellum is, but it's pretty much the same most sides. So put in, I don't think, oh yes it did, there we go, and with vellum it depends what you put it onto to how bright that yes, uh, turns definitely. out as well. Mm. So just some pattern vellum behind there, I didn't um, 
uh, trim out that one, but I've got another one here. So we're going to pop that on the inside yeah. of our cards. So let's just stick that one down. So nice and quick. And pop in that just on the inside. But it will also show through. And then we've just got our rose, which we're just going to give a bit of shape into. And pop that on the top. I don't think I had any more glue left over, so we will just have to use a foam pad, a bit of foam pad on there, just to stick that down. And that's all we need just to do our car. We're going to oh, hang that lovely. from the top there. Oh. And then we've got our open windows. We've got a bit of a wonky, you make me smile, but um, it's such an easy card to do with those gorgeous that's windows lovely. opening and something that's just really nice to decorate with. I love those roses. So, so nice. Oh, that's such a gorgeous demo. Isn't that a fabulous card? If you do want to be able to create that, you're going to want the wonderful roses to be able to colour in. And I will remind you briefly what is in this collection. The 12 by 12 cut and die topper pad. You get in all of these different pages. Show you a few of them there. Um, so yeah, you're getting all of these beauties that you can use. We've also got the stamps, which come with the dies, so it gives you a professional finish each time. Um, we've then also got the stamps with all of the sentiments, including happy anniversary and the lovely one that Debbie used before. Then you've got all of your cardstock. These are 12 by 12, double-sided for you. Selection of colours there, which for me is very much the great outdoors, so really usable there, including the lovely back to all of that is half price this isn't even winner's circle i've got winner's circle coming up for you in a bit if you don't know what that is oh it's like i don't know showering in bargains uh, it's on the way for you really soon but now though it is time for the second round of play your crafts right So it is Crafters Chronicles. If you've just tuned in, you still have the chance of winning. All you have to do is get social. We're going to watch a short video by the lovely duo and uh, we're going to try and remember all the information in it. And then what we will do is we'll be asked five questions, which you have a chance to answer on our socials. And at the end, whether you're on team Facebook, so if I win, or if you're on team YouTube and Debbie wins, then five people will be picked at random from those locations to win a tenner. So, are we ready? How are you feeling? Um, I I'm just rubbish with memory, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try really hard for you, YouTube. So, come on, YouTube. I think you'll be uh, better now because we both sort of had the first <laughs> round and you have to kind of get your head around it, don't you? But I think we know what to expect now, so we could be... Yeah, but you better. still got to remember. That's the thing, yeah, Becky. No. Yeah, That's fair the thing. Enough. Fair enough. I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> um, let me bring to you now your Crafters Chronicles story. You may not know the tale of Debbie the Fish, the notorious dame that painted the town shades of nectarine, olive green and marine. She was known for constructing three albums at a time, combining paper pads from vintage diary, letters from the heart and traditional florals. She never accepted an unfinished project and always added a finishing touch to her 26 envelope, a wax gold seal. The seal you'd expect to be a fish or maybe even a seagull. It was in fact a squirrel and why not? She had a soft spot for random crafts of kindness and most recently saw June Franco's mini cards. But beware Debbie the fish, for her giggle is contagious and will have you clutching your sides in agony. I knew the wax seal was going to be mentioned as soon as we heard the fish, didn't we? <laughs> You know what though, I laughed and then I forgot everything, honestly, so <laughs> I'm apologising straight away. I, yeah. Honestly, I really didn't take any of that in. <laughs> right. You can get involved on socials. All you have to do is put your guesses in after each one of the questions. And again, you could be chosen to win the tenner or ten dollars. Okay. How confident? Are you more or less confident with this one? Less. Totally Me less. Me too. Definitely Me less. Me too. Okay. Right. Shall we go for the first question? What was the second colour Debbie painted the town with? Mine's a 50-50 here. Oh, 
How are you doing? Have you written it? No. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. Okay. I've um, I'm gone. Uh, oh. just, I'm just going to go for a colour because I really can't remember. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Yes. I, I, can th I can think of some colours that were mentioned and I am... 33% sure I've got it right. <laughs> what percentage would you say you are? Zero. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. What are people saying? Hello to you. We've got people saying um, olive green. That's Lynn. I've got Amelia saying gold. I've got people saying nectarine. That is a colour that I remembered. Have you got any of these that we're saying? No. And do you know what? The nectarine, oh. I was thinking in my head, I thought, well, if they say a fruit, I know I've got nectarine. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. All right. Okay. That's quite... <laughs> <laughs> so no, I can't remember any other colours. Oh, okay. I just put pink because I really couldn't remember any okay. colours. Okay. I've gone for olive and I've drawn an olive. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know. It, I'm pretty sure that that was a colour that was mentioned, oh, but I can't remember. Now you said it, remember. olive green, yes, nectarine. Nectarine. And was one marine? Pardon? We're going for the answer. You ready? Olive green. Oh. Olive. Surely I get it with olive, don't I? Because otherwise, what? Yeah, olive. Oh, George is saying, yeah, you can get it with olive. I hope that's well, all right. Nice. All right, olive. Okay, you ready for the yeah, second one? Yeah, have it, have it, Becky. Have yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> so we've, we've lost YouTube, and I do apologise. No, no, you don't know that at all. You do not know. <laughs> okay, okay, let's do it. Second question. What was the last paper pad Debbie liked to combine in her albums? I can't remember for the life of me, and now my earpiece has just fallen out. Not that it makes any odds. Oh, Debbie's looking absolutely determined. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but I... Oh. I don't remember paper pads being mentioned at all. I can remember a collection. I'm just going to go it. Right. Oh, what was that? Well, I hope Trace is okay. <laughs> We're going to go and check. I wish I could say that that was the uh, penny dropping for me with the answer, but it wasn't. Um, I am 99.8% sure that this is incorrect. Oh, okay. Well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not confident on this one. What about you? No, I'm not. I've, I've got two answers in my head and I'm not sure if either are right. So, yeah, I'm not very confident. No, I'm almost positive that this is incorrect. Um, we have got, oh, Aisha's straight in on Facebook saying traditional florals. Well, do you know what? I oh, didn't really hear that. my favourite pads and I was thinking, do I go with what I use the most, which is traditional florals right. and the watercolour, traditional uh, contemporary watercolours. Right. But I didn't hear them, so I've gone with a collection. Right, okay. Mm. Oh, I've gone collection as opposed yes. to a paper pad because yeah. it's the only thing I could remember. Andrea is saying woodland animals. Oh, I didn't hear that either. No, oh. I've not heard any of these. Joanne is saying traditional florals as well. I have a feeling that that could be the answer and it's not what I've written. What, what have you I've gone written. for? I've got letters from the heart. Letters from the heart. I've got vintage diary. Ah, what was the answer? I have a feeling neither. Traditional florals. It was traditional yeah, florals. With that, <laughs> that is one of my favourites. Still, still time? It's all in it to oh, win it. Three See? questions left. Okay, you ready for the next one? Uh, what number envelope did Debbie like to seal with gold wax? Just a guess. Mine's got to be a guess. I haven't... Oh, oh. But, do you know what I'm thinking now? There was a number in the first video that I'm also thinking about. Oh, no. Oh. I think that's right. It's... It's, it's a number I've definitely heard of before. <laughs> oh, Debbie's really going, yeah. That, you can tell that's a guess. Okay, there's lots of you in with suggestions. Loads of you getting in with this one. Don't forget, if you're sending in those suggestions, it's fab because if uh, lovely Debbie wins, YouTubers, five of you will be picked to win a tenner. If I win, mm. Facebookers, you have the chance for five of you to win those ones. 
Facebook is saying, loads of you are in on that one. What are people guessing? 26. God, you've got such good memories. I'm, honestly, it's terrible. YouTube saying 26 as well. No. What have you got? <laughs> 100. <laughs> okay, I've got 12. So we are quite opposite ends here. I didn't have a clue. I thought he said hundreds of envelopes. So I was thinking maybe it was the 100th one. Right. The answer was... 26. 26. You're not you are so good. Yes, yeah, so mm, good. That was not for me. Okay. <laughs> for both of us. Fourth question. What kind of seal does Debbie use on her envelopes? <laughs> that, yeah, I that's... feel like that's sent to scupper me. Oh, okay, so oh, I have you to do be need to be more detailed. Quite detailed, apparently. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I think I know what you're saying. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I can't spell that word, but you'll know what I mean. Um, okay, everybody. How's it going? Have you got one down yet? Debbie? Demi? No, I haven't. <laughs> I can't even think. My mind's literally gone a blank. Okay. Um, Would you like a clue? Yes. Um, it was when he was talking about the different designs. Yeah. It was the third design, he said. Oh, I don't know. If I'm right. I mean, oh my gosh, could you imagine if I've just given you completely the wrong clue? <laughs> Seemed like um, sabotage. Okay. Um, what do people say? Oh, have you finished yet? I'm just going to write one because I, I really, honestly, my memory is shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there's quite a few of you guessing. Um, gold wax seal, says Mandy. Wax gold, says Mary. Yeah, these are ones that people are putting in. But my producer is telling me we need to be more specific, not just gold wax. So there was an animal on the stamp if i am correct my guess is squirrel gold wax i just put heart wax seal because i didn't know what was on them and i can only remember a heart one which was probably in letters from the heart oh yeah possibly. which wasn't from the vintage one and i couldn't remember which one it was so i just thought a heart one do you know what they don't make it easy should we find no. out the answer it's squirrel. squirrel well i never knew there was a squirrel on that so ha, I ha, can I just say that was a very unfair question because right. that was all to do with my demo, right? Which didn't come out good, so I wouldn't have known that was a squirrel on the front. Right. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You know, in my good. defence. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great backtracking. I like it. We've got one more question for fun, and it is: Who most recently sent in a random craft of? kindness who most recently send is it sent in a random crafters of kindness mm. wow. wow these questions are really different well they're not if you've got a good memory my memory's shot yeah it's an age thing all you ladies out there will know that right well i can't remember this one either um it was what Apparently, no one, even in there, is getting so it. So it wasn't going, in, the, really in what Joe said. It, it is what, it, surely it's in what Joe said. Isn't it? <laughs> okay, right, I'm going to guess. Um, doop, 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 doop. Someone that I'm working with tomorrow. Okay, plenty of you in on this one. Um, hello to you all. I hope you're having a good one. Okay, what have we got as an answer, please? Hang on, my earpiece has gone funny. Oh, yeah, go on. I have gone for Bernie. Oh, I went for Sarah. Okay. So I had no idea. Well, they're both people, so we're 50% yeah. uh, of the way there. The answer was June Franco. Well, June, I apologise. I didn't know. So what can we be told what that act of kindness was? Yeah. Well done, Be Becky, anyway. Oh, thanks. Oh, yes, I've just realised I've won. I've won that round two. Hey, 
Okay, oh, my first one. Ah, oh, Team Facebook, we are winners. And we will announce the five people who are getting that tenor for you in a little bit. Nice work, YouTube. Yes, no, no, it wasn't nice work at all. So apologies, YouTube. No. Uh, you well brilliant. done. Well done, you Facebook. That, that is was hard. brilliant. Well, there's always winners, which is the good thing. That is lovely. Mm. And that was Play Your Crafts Right. That was wonderful. And let me let you know that even if you weren't on team uh, YouTube or Facebook then, sorry, uh, you still have the chance of feeling like a winner because we have got the fabulous winner's circle, which is bargains galore. Whilst you're checking out your baskets, you're taking a breather, you're trying to forget all of the information you saw in those two videos. You don't need it now. Have a little look at these. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Hi, I'm Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Welcome back to Crafters TV. Thank you to everyone who got involved with Play Your Craft Right. We will announce the winners of that shortly. If you didn't manage to win, nay, worry about it because we have got some deals that makes everybody feel like a winner in this wonderful section now i'm going to be bringing to you something for all of those horticulturalists in your life is it just me or did you yourself or do you know anybody who during lockdown you sort of went out and did a little bit more gardening than you normally would yeah, something that I've never really found uh, sort of uh, time for maybe. It's something that I'm not very good at, but I have definitely been uh, getting a little bit more green fingered recently because of, you know, having more time to yourself, being outside in the sun. This would be perfect if that is you or you know anyone who has been taking up whether it's growing herbs or even just you know mowing the lawn more regularly this is going to be great for them i am bringing to you your picket fence this is your embossing folder and that means that you're getting that 3d effect i adore this one for that and imagine this maybe in front of your 3d cards i've also got your london skyline this is from best of british and um, as, as they all are sorry but this one i can just completely imagine for maybe your holiday noted cards these ones again great for the horticulturalist because it's your rose garden you have got all of these different shapes which will cut out things like your wellington boots your watering can for example and you have the stamps to go with them which means if you're a colorist 
jobs are good and with this you're going to love them and then this is possibly one of my favorites i'm bringing to you the city scene ones you've got loads in here you've got your post box you've got your wonderful crown you've got your bus in here you've got the bit for a flag of course it could be used for a postcard as well if you wanted that one again your dies and your skyline with the stamps themselves all of this in together it is a dramatic saving should be nearly 40 pounds it's actually only 20 pounds 98 so that is a huge discount and if your brand's new or you are platinum it's just 16 pounds 78 i think yeah so well done to you all not only have i got that for you i'm bringing to you some pop-up boxes now these are wonderful and they do what they say in the tin you'll open them and they will give you this kind of effect and finish so you're going to be getting in here all the elements you need including these dies that help you make and fold the box and you've got all of the elements that add different themes so, um, for example, on this one, you've got the uh, mermaid or the ocean paradise. In this one here, to fill the pop-up box, you're going to be getting the back to nature. Then I've also got the, I believe, in fairies collection. And this one, as you can see, has got, you know, fairy houses, as, uh, fairies and more. So, you are going to be treating yourself today. You get the card, the, the work card, and then all of the elements to decorate lots of different ways. Big saving on this one. You're saving more than you spend. It's £34 or $49. Another element that I have for you is your cut and emboss collection. If you just watched the demo with the fish and you fell in love with um, the way that we created the window effect, this is the one you want to get your hands on. So you can see here it's cutting out the wonderful detail. It's giving you that emboss effect all in one place. You have got this one, which is the open window. You have also got the, what's this one, sorry? Candy cane. Candy cane. Oh, yes, I can see the stripes now, you say it. Um, as well as that one, I'm bringing you the floral frame. I love this one. It feels very Art Deco to me. Um, as well as that, I've got your sunburst and be happy which i absolutely adore as well so you can see all of the effects you're going to get here this is a must if you love this uh, professionalism done for you all in one it's just 34 pounds or 44 dollars not only have you got all of those today we have also got a couple more deals in the winner's circle have a look at these rotation stamps we've got which means that you can layer up your stamps and designs creating a perfect circle around a sentiment there is your discount saving today. It's £38.97 or $44.85. I've also got a Hunky Dory collection. Now we hear Hunky Dory, what do we think? Quality! And we're bringing you that quality, but nowhere near the price. 50% discount on this one today. You've got those wonderful floral detail designs, really bright, bold colours, and we will show you more from that later. For now, though, let's head on over to see what we're crafting. What have you got there, please? So, we're going to look at the cut and emboss folders. They're my all time favourite folders to use for embossing because not only do they give you that embossed element, they give you that beautiful cut out element as well, which yeah. is just something really different. Uh, being able to be creative with an embossing folder, being able to cut out out straight out of your uh, actual uh, card front uh, and then just matting and layering another piece over the top to get that edge is just exquisite making shaker cards so i love that fact that we can make those shaker cards uh, they have that element that cut out element using your inks using your paints whatever you want hello sunshine so <laughs> just doing those simple ones where you just use that ink in place this middle part back in but have it slightly raised uh, just gives a really beautiful effect yeah. and then we can really see that candy cane oh, design now uh, and also I mean although it's called candy canes I mean that can be used for so many different things but it's a great one to get in for your early early doors crafting uh, with Christmas mm, so uh, yeah so what I thought we would do is just show some different techniques of how we can put them through uh, into different mediums and see how they come out so my first one I've got is some Centura Repel. I'm just going to grab my smaller plate and pop those through so we need our two top plates and then I was just going to look for uh, my 
um, metal shim. There we go. Let me just grab that out of our box of wonders under there. So mm. I'm going to pop my metal shim in and then uh, pop that on top and run that through. So nice and easy. Uh, you don't actually need the metal shim. I just think it gives that extra bit of pressure that it needs. The mm. machine takes it no problem whatsoever. Uh, and it just helps with that gorgeous embossing. So if we bring that one out. Now I love this one because let me bring in my um, pokey tool. You've actually got all these little pieces that are cut as well. And what these always remind me of um, are the hundreds of thousands that you put on top of your cupcake. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so I always think you should keep these bits and uh, use them, yeah, to decorate your uh, cupcakes. They would be that's great. That's a you great see, idea. Yeah, they're all like those little sprinkles, aren't yes. they? But that is a beautiful fold. And if I just angle that, you can see Lovely. all those different stripes in there, mm. which is gorgeous. So that's just out of our Centura Rappel. It also, if I just uh, bring that up, it cuts you out then that tri uh, rectangle yes. out of the centre as well, which is incredible. So you can use that for anything else. Great. Next, we've got, and one of my favourite things to do, is obviously the letterpress technique so just using an ink pad on the top so let's go with uh, something nice and bright so our lemon tonic um, especially as it's sort of associated with our bees. Yeah. Uh, just again wiping it on the top. If you um, if you want to uh, use an ink that's darker, so let's say like a fuchsia or a, um, a deep purple, what you will do is you will stain your folder. So just be mindful of that. But actually, this will all wash off. But if it is one that stains a little bit, it won't do any harm to your folder, and it won't the usage will not be uh, affected at all but what it will do is just give you a nice uh, pretty colored folder so you don't That's have to, to worry know. about that at all Tab. so again just popping that in that same platform making sure that's inside and then running that through so what a letter press does so years ago they used to do techniques like this with the uh, letter pressing uh, where they press the ink into the page so now we can do it with an embossing folder and it creates really gorgeous backgrounds uh, and it really highlights that embossed detail so as we take that out if you if i'd ink them more we could have had beautiful uh, stencil uh, like bits here but these would be lovely you can then stamp onto them and use them but look how incredible that now looks oh, so we've fab. got those bees that are really highlighted yeah. and the rest then just shows up in that white so that's a really nice effect to be able to do with your folders next is our mirror card mirror cards always great and I absolutely love this rainbow mirror card it's a really nice one to use and I think this one in the window are my favorites I love this sunburst I think it makes you feel really happy the sun yeah. it's nice in the spring in the summer if you've got birthdays in that sort of time to so send a folder out like a, send a card out with this embossing folder print on there yeah. would just look amazing if I turn that round or oh, turn it around this way and bring it up look how beautifully wow. stunning that is oh so, that's amazing I know, it's so amazing isn't it so if you've got any rainbow mirror card I mean that is amazing and then that we've got great. one more to show you which obviously is our black card now black card can be really dramatic um, but it also is brilliant highlighted with gilding wax uh, which is a really nice one to do so you would have seen Becky showing the boards with those gilding waxes on so we're just going to do a little bit just to show you how well these go on with our embossing folders they're just such a nice one to do and I love a floral one especially when you're applying it so you can go I would say don't go in too heavy-handed but put on enough so you really highlight that surface and all you want to do you don't want to be pressing down you want to just be going on that surface letting your finger sort of do that work don't push down because all that's going to happen if you've got too much on your finger it will just push down into the parts that you don't want it to go to and you can really highlight that now saying that let's just say for instance you did want to do that let's go in a bit heavier and then I can really 
really start, can you see, we can really start to bring that in. Yeah. So there's no harm with going in heavier, but apply it first before you do that, because it's best to get to grips with the sort of pressure that you want to put down on there. So the more I'm rubbing into there and the heavier I'm getting with my hand, it means that I'm going to really uh, push that into the surface. And also you can see it's going in that behind as well. So this bit, which would have been black, I'm actually now taking to that next level and creating just a, a masterpiece with the gilding waxes. So for anyone that's not tried gilding waxes and they want to go for the folders, yes. um, honestly, these work beautifully. But look at that. I mean, it's looks so, it just looks amazing. Yeah, it really it? does. So you're getting that gorgeous embossed detail, which we can't really see on our dark card. But then when we start to put our uh, gilding wax on it, it looks absolutely beautiful. So we've got our black gilding wax, we've got our mirror card, we've got our letter press, and then we've got our centura pearl. And honestly, it goes on and on and on. There are so many different techniques that you can do uh, using these embossing folders. It's brilliant that they all look so different depending on your technique as well. Thank you for showing us that. Um, that is your Cut and Emboss collection. Don't forget, big discount deal on that one for you today. And uh, just as a uh, sort of uh, you know heads up about that, if you do want to get the discount, now is definitely the best time because that is a 40% let me bring to you some rotational background stamps now if you've not seen these before feast your peepers because they are fab now these are a bit different to some stamps you may well have seen where you get lots of individual ones this is one big stamp so if i just peel this side up here this would normally be a backing wouldn't it but as you can see it's all connected in together this one so that means that you can create a lovely look. So if you use this background, remembering the sentiments you can swap out. If you use this background, this is the kind of effect you get. But by using the other background that I'm going to bring to you, you can build up a final flourish that gives you this kind of effect. So we've got plenty in here. You've got meadow wreath. You've got butterfly roses. You've got your rustic botanicals. And I've got your butterfly wishes, which I love. Um, you have got all of those ones. And you simply, uh, you know, choose your colour, turn it around, stamp it down, remembering that you can swap those sentiments out. You're going to buy three and get one for free in this deal. It's your chance to seize the moment, saving around £13 or $15. Mm -hmm. As well as that, if you do love your florals, let me bring to you now some Hunky Dory. And if you love Hunky Dory, um, then you'll already adore this. But if you are quite new to Hunky Dory, very well known professional brand that gives you quality to make quality cards. I'm going to show you the elements you're getting in this one. It is your Forever Florals collection and you are getting so much in here including your fabulously foiled toppers lots of those in there to create these wonderful high elegance finishes that would be nearly impossible to do by hand you are also going to be getting in here a mass of your paper stock and there is so much here some of it is foiled card stock that you're getting in this one and i'm also going to be bringing to you some vellums as well so the vellums themselves the parchment sorry and um, the what the, what you're getting with this one is the beautiful sunflower finish which again ties in wonderfully together so it means that you're going to create stunning cards like these ones um, and you're going to be able to make them time and time again. And that does also, I should mention, include the paper, which all ties it in. And this is the insert. So these are the great things you see when you're getting these kind of elements as designs. It's all really well thought out. And that's why a lot of people love buying collections as a whole, because it does mean that you get really inspired as one. So if you would like to seize the moment on those ones, it's another half price deal. This is what Winner's Circle is all about. It's about treating yourself on a Saturday. So if you do want to seize the moment it's a half a price deal now do remember that you can head on over to our website to do your shopping you've got some lovely makes over there the fish i have just got a couple of samples but you know what becky i have to say how is this half price uh this is <laughs> 
You wouldn't uh, expect that ever for Hunky Dory, uh, not would at you? All. This <laughs> is crazy value, and when you see exactly what you get, honestly, you can just make so many cards with this. So just ch a couple of cards for inspiration. What I love about this is you've got everything. If you like your card kits, you're going to absolutely adore this. Uh, it's got so many from everything from whether you're doing a sympathy card to an inspirational card to a birthday card. You're going to be oh, able to nice. make so many different things. And actually, what I thought I would do is I do have a demo, but I'm going to craft straight from the pack to show you just how simple it is. Great. Now, first of all, you're getting a massive pack of all these die-cut foiled toppers. On top of that, you're getting your core cardstock. I mean, this is really high quality cardstock, which is incredible. The colorways in this, the brightness, the tones in this are amazing. Perfect for you're summer, getting, isn't it? Absolutely. And then this parchment, I mean, this is great quality. Uh, it's beautiful. So you've got a, a multiple sheets of different coordinating vellums that go in it, which is amazing. Uh, and then we've got our, um, uh, our inserts. Now, these are not just inserts. You can use these on your front of your card. You can trim out some. You've got the beautiful sunflower designs on there, which honestly is just... Um, oh, they're upside down. The other ones I'm sitting... Oh, they're blank, uh, but they're on the, on the bank. But you just get loads for your money. This has totally wowed me, this collection, because it is so good. So I'm going to straight away take a piece of card. Let's just pick a card. And in fact, I see one. I thought that one would be brilliant for making the card blank. So I'm going to bring in my scoreboard. So if you don't have a scoreboard, you might have the ultimate score. Um, these are a 4 in size. So all I'm going to do is take my... Uh, um, <laughs> got out of my head. Uh, my score at all. <laughs> so I see this is what I'm talking about memory. Uh, and I'm just going to score that in half. But what I also want to do, I want to score that. I'm going to bring it up very slightly so I can then score it again on the three inches. Because what we can do with this is let's fold that. Oh, uh, that's the wrong way. I'm going to fold that this way. Mm -hmm. So we're making a half fold card blank and then I'm going to fold this back on itself. Now look at that. That How was great. Beautiful. I mean, that is a card in its own right, isn't it? I, I mean, just having that beautiful card stock, it scores. I can't even tell you how well that scores. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You then can just bring in these beautiful toppers and you have so many different designs, whether it's circles, uh, whether it's these gorgeous ovals. I think we're going to use, let's use these ovals because they look so lovely. So, And they all part, oh, I've just torn that. I've been really heavy handed with that but actually let's take out that one and then we will just have these other ones so you're getting all these different elements which means you can mat and layer them in different places so we can take those ones out so what we can do then is I'm going to pop this on the front let's just take that bit that I tore tore out take that away and then what we can do is just bring this in and all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick on this front bit. I'm going to go a bit high because I want to put a sentiment on the bottom. Uh, we can just pop that onto there. So I'm going to take my tape pen and just go around the edge of here and just stick that onto the front so we can pop that onto that design. And I'm governed, as I can see, by, this, by the stripes on each side. So I can make sure that I go against that stripe there, which is a perfect fit for the opposite side as well here. And then with this one, what I'm going to do is put the foam pads on top. So let's just use these ones. Oh, it's a long one. Is that one? No, it must be more than one. Just making sure I get the right side. So pop in those ones there. And then we can just place that onto our card there we go so pop that in the center so that's making that topper sort of stand out so we've got our topper coming here and then we've got all our sentiments here which is lovely so let's have to a sweet friend oh that's nice and we can just pop that on the front you can mat and layer them you've got all different like borders here so you can use your borders i know we're we're vastly running out of time so i'm just going to quickly stick 
stick stick mine on so we'll pop that onto uh, onto there and there we go as simple as I that and what I, what I then would do becky i yeah. would use these i'm going to take these off i would use these to go up the side nice. and then you could put them on each oh, side gosh. of your car but i know we're running out of time That's fab. but to be able to craft straight out of a pack like that and create gorgeous cars i mean that really is it's such a it's beautiful great. kit i love it yeah so professional love it. Every Every single time. Absolutely. Thank you for that. I've had an idea as well that I just want to show you. Dead quick. Uh -oh. You know this border that you've just worked with? Yes. That one that we've just popped out. This yeah. one that's from that pack. <gasps> oh! It's the oh, perfect it size! Look at that. Just a thought, just a thought. Oh, Anywho, brilliant. if you do want to see some moment on that massive collection, it's Honky Dory at half price. What's not to love? So do seize the moment on that. What's on its way, I hear you say. Well, let's have a look at the rest of the day. Masterclass, we have got the Vintage Diaries coming up for you on Masterclass. It is 3 p.m. UK time and that is 10 a.m. Eastern time with the wonderful Deborah Fisher. And we've also got Softer Side, that's tomorrow. It's with Bernie and it's 12 p.m. UK time, 7 a.m. Eastern time. And I will let you know, I've got some brand new fabrics on that day. Oh, yeah. And I've got a Threaders uh, pattern pack as well for you to uh, feast your peepers on. So absolutely oodles of goodies on the way for you. The fish, you're back with us in a bit, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. I can't wait, actually. I uh, very rarely get a chance to do some scrapbooking. We're just going to have a play, do lots of the designs and use them on a scrapbook page. And I'm going to be using my daughter's wedding as inspiration. Oh, I love that. So that's something to look forward to. Speaking of looking forward, a few of you can look forward to having a tenner whoop its way into your car. Let me tell you the winners of the craft along. The winners are Stacey Allen. Congratulations, tenner to you. Denise Cromwell. Well, you've got a tenner coming your way. Aisha Dennison, you've got a tenner coming your way. Andrea um, uh, Horobin, Horobin, I hope I pronounced that right. You've got a tenner coming your way. And finally, Janet Robinson, you've got a tenner your way. Email prizes at crafterscompanion.com if you've just heard your name and let us know your details it's this info here and that way we can put that tenor across from you the fish you're fabulous as always you've got ben is it coming up with you in a little bit and i'll be back with you tomorrow for softer side tomorrow enjoy the rest of your day and i'll speak to you then Bye bye